That's unclear. The latest abortion ban study did not give specifics on how the newborns died or what led up to their deaths. And we do have a QR code on your screen there that will send you a direct link to the article with more information about that study. But those abandonments here in Houston, those cases involving those newborns is still under investigation. Since June, six newborns have been found abandoned across Houston. Two of them were dead. Alicia Lee with March of Dimes says a woman's access to health care, social and economic factors could have an impact. We know that the social determinants of health, the social drivers of health, where you live, work, play, worship, get an education, all of those resources and social services or the lack of the resources and the community support that a woman may or may not have are potentially playing a factor into the decision making process that she's having. This recent John Hopkins study shows in Texas infant and newborn deaths are up roughly 13% since the state implemented the abortion ban. Across the nation, infant deaths rose by only 2%. At this time, there isn't information supporting that these cases are related to the impacts of a state's abortion law. I spoke with Abby Ladeau, who is with Planned Parenthood Gulf Coast. But there was also um, a 23% rise in babies born with congenital anomalies, right? So sometimes that can mean a condition that is incompatible with life, where an infant is expected, you know, to die within days or weeks, sometimes even hours. And there's been a lot of conversation about resources for families and for mothers during a time of need, especially in these types of situations. We have a QR code on our screen there that will take you to a direct link to our website with that information. Reporting live, Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.